I was born. I was born. Hello and welcome to a very special video. Today, I'm very excited to announce I've secretly been working on a big mod release. And here it is. It's out. Right now. Um, of course, you can play as this guy if you want. Um, that's the main focus. It's sort of my Oblivion series. But there's lots of features. There's lots of things to go through today. Some grand scale nonsense, which I'm sure you'll like. Lots of improvements. And of course, some glitches. Um, stick around. Watch this video, um, and we'll go through some of the fun stuff I've added. Cat Space Mission, of course. That's a 20 seconds, Kitty Reflect. That's a little OP. We may change that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> this is like a... Um, at the time of recording this, the mod is, you know, in beta. Uh, so there may be some last minute changes, but it's pretty much done. Okay, let's break out of here. Wake up, Kitty Kitty. Fat. There's a rat in my cell, Kajit. My god, there is. A fat. Tasty. Whoa! Alright, come over here, get this key, get this bottle of skooma that you'll definitely need. Break into this cell. You'd better take whatever you can get in here. And what we can get in here is a ring of skimming. Didn't you know that? One of the best speedrunning items in the game, just a little secret for you guys. No one's gonna find that unless you watch this video, so who cares? First, they starve you. Then they beat you. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm not using the console. That's one of the- oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you hear that? <laughs> Who's gonna want to play this? <laughs> no one's gonna want to play this. Um, yeah, one of the main features of this mod is it's, uh, it's got glitches and stitches, all without the need for console commands. There's access to dev cells, all sorts of stuff that we'll get to. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? <laughs> this cell is supposed to be off limits. Sorry, sorry. Usual mix up with the watch. I Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Stay no put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. Me. I've seen you. No! What the hell was that, the rat? Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Um, what the hell are you talking about? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. Cool. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Yeah, you disturbed Kitty nap time. Who the hell do you think you are? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. Okay, I don't care. He likes to monologue, he's very slow. Um, please, come on, we gotta keep moving. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Please, Emperor Uriel, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of this tutorial that everyone's seen a million times. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. Get out of my way. Don't try anything. <laughs> I'm watching. Okay, one of the big main features of this mod is an option to skip the tutorial. Yes. If you haven't played Oblivion before, I definitely recommend doing the tutorial, getting emotionally invested in the story. But if you've got 4,000 hours like me, come over here, open this secret sack, collect the skooma, collect Lil Re, wowie, and then we have an option up here to skip the intro to the sewers. I actually don't know if this will work. I haven't tested this fully. Um, so we'll see if the game just breaks or not. There's a lot that happens in the tutorial. It sort of sets up your class. There's lots of quest updates. Your birth sign. Some of these are pretty useless. We can thank Bethesda for that. I've left the standard ones, the thief, the lady, the warrior, etc. But I've buffed the useless ones a lot. And I've buffed the Magicka related ones some too. I'd probably recommend if you are new to the game just going with the Mage. And this is because I've added a lot of endgame spells that the extra Magicka will greatly assist with. <laughs> oh yeah, something I forgot. You will need DLC to play this mod, I'm sorry. You'll need Shivering Isles and Spell Tomes. Um, I'll show you why later in this video. Don't worry, I really utilize them and we have a lot of fun with them while we. But I apologize, yeah, you'll need those two DLCs. This wouldn't normally be a problem, except that spell tomes apparently can't be purchased individually. You need to buy the Game of the Year Deluxe Edition, I think. 
Thank you, Todd. And this is why piracy happens, by the way. Are you sure you want to be an autist? Yes. All right, let's get the hell out of here. In this crate, I've put some of the things that you missed in the tutorial. Wowie, I wouldn't let you be without them. And look, there we go. The quest updates. The Amulet of Kings. Uriel's dead. Wowie, it's actually working. <laughs> it's new for me. Uh, making things actually function and work without problems. Always do a save before you leave the sewers so we can edit our race, birth sign, and class later if you want to. Um, even though we've got the tutorial skip, doesn't really matter. Let's go! Wow, it's night time because we were so quick. Good luck. Thank you. All right, first thing we do is assassinate this mud crab. Yes, and now, now we should be able to wait um, for as long as we want. We'll just wait until morning before we cat space mission, you know. And look at this beautiful little chair. I put a little chair here for some reason. <laughs> One of the many little surprises in this mod. Fall. Ah! Will, what the hell is this mod? Relax, okay? This is actually something that happened when I was beta testing. This assassin guy just appeared and force greeted me. Where did he go? Where is he gone? Okay, um, he'll only appear, by the way, if you skip the tutorial. Um, so you don't have to worry about that if you want a n sort of normal experience. But who wants that? Okay, let's wait until morning properly. And let's get the hell out of here. We'll ascend. We'll go to space. Wowie. Little cat space mission. Here we go. And I had to lower the values of this just a little bit. Um, just to prevent some people from crashing. Because not everybody has a high-end system. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Wowie. Still got my wrist irons on. <laughs> oh, another beautiful morning in the Imperial City. Oh. Let's make our kitty descent into the Imperial City waterfront. Yes, a great place to start in this mod. Jesus. Um, <laughs> a great place to go um, if you're starting a new game or even if you're loading a save. Who will help an old beggar? Not me. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. I have no gold. I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. <laughs> Blessings of Mistara upon you. Oh, and look who it is. Greetings. Greetings. I'm sure we'll see him again, don't worry. Oh, what the hell is this? I'm sure that was an accident. You're not supposed to be here, you're supposed to be dead. I'm sure that was an accident. Was it an accident? Or did I put him in the game? This is only the beginning. Worse is yet to come. <laughs> I'm ready. So, Uriel will sell you his clothes for half a million gold. It's a lot of money. No one's going to have that much gold at the start of the game. Um, so I don't care. And, and he'll only appear again if you do the tutorial skip. So, yeah. I may not survive this. <laughs> I'm sure that was an accident. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to go visit a little store that I've put in the waterfront. But first, we're going to need some gold. So, we're just going to do some grave robbing here. One of these graves, where is it? Grave of Tism. If you just click on this... It's a spooky ghost! Whoa! And if we slaughter him... He actually does a bit, bit of damage, so be careful. Um, we'll get some gold and some goodies. And uh, then we can, you know... Go spend that on, on uh, some stuff in this store that I've put in the waterfront. Which should be very exciting. I'm also going to show you the duplication glitch today. <gasps> okay, I don't know why he's still following me. He's not force greeting me, which is good. <laughs> Can you guys help? Please? This is really scary. <laughs> he just walks after me forever. Like, it follows. Okay. I think we have to kill him, um, which we haven't done yet. Let's get some help. Let's see if the Conjurer will fight this guy for me. Farewell. 
Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, sweet lady of ways. Gondra, can you help me, please? Morrowind has always been a troubling place. Oh. Seems it is more so now. Political? Farewell. Oh, hey, sweet lady of Wayrest. Oh, was hey, a sweet lady of mine. I'll see you. A pleasure to speak with you. Gondra. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Yes, actually. So Gondra will sell us um, some amazing spells. So once you have some gold, you can come here. Summon Scamp Buddy. That sounds really good. Let's get that. Waste all our money. Wowee. Thank you. Come again. No, thank you. Goodbye. See ya. Go ahead, please. Any rumors? Mud crabs. What's the point? <laughs> Annoying buggers. Though the meat isn't bad. That's true. You've got a lot to learn. Oh, he's a master of sneak. That makes sense. Okay. Um. Well, he's harmless now, I guess. Oh, hey, sweet lady. <laughs> hey, Whoa. I have witnessed the death of a skooma attic outside a venue on the Imperial City waterfront. Yes. Okay, um, this is the next main feature of this mod. After the tutorial skip, we have this dead skooma addict who's now naked. Um, 22 skooma, wow. Wow. And a unique quest line that I've added as well. Let's, let's try on his clothing here. Oh. I look great. I look really good. What a good look. Thank you, skooma addict. Should we drink some of his skooma? <laughs> Celebrate, celebrate the launch of this mod? Why not? Why not? My intelligence has been damaged. What do you think about that, assassin? Oh. Okay, let's just let them fight. Uriel. I'm sure that was an accident. <laughs> oh, oh, good, he's finally dead. Oh my god, it's a lich! Okay, very high. That's like a level 20 enemy. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. <laughs> Not now, please. My sword for Greatest of the silence. Where are we? It's pretty good. Sell that. Die, damn you. You are What's the, the man? What's happening? Okay, Uriel. Uriel has broken. Um. I'm sure that was an accident. <laughs> okay, Uriel. Enough. Stop. I'm sure that was an accident. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Come here. I got what you need. You need something special? Yeah. Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. All right, so here we are in the local general store. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. <laughs> a lot, lot of skooma, um, some poisons that are expensive, you know. Uh, we need to get some money, and then we're going to go to this guy in the back who's the store owner and uh, we can get some cool stuff from him. That's sort of a main feature of this mod, this store that's now in the waterfront. Yes. All right, once we get some stuff here, if I figure out what I'm doing, I'm kind of clumsy. My mercantile. Oh yeah, mercantile is easy at a level. So is destruction, restoration. I've tweaked things quite a lot. A fine bargain for you. Thank you for your patronage. No, thank you. Farewell. Bye. I hate my life. <laughs> yes? What are you selling, my Khajiit, bro? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Yeah, and they're very fine. So if you miss Lil Re at the start, you can buy it here for a staggering 18k. Sunstrike Sword, Sunstrike Bow. The best weapons in the game, pretty much. Um, not hugely damaging, but because of that supernova script effect, um, which you'll see soon, Oh, wow. And look at this. Delight. Uh, <laughs> we'll get that. And we can just duplicate these and sell them back. So everything's good. This is what we need, though, this testing hall key. But we'll get to that. So you're like, Brandy, Cheese Wedge, Grand Soul Gems. Wowee. Um, we'll probably buy these and duplicate those. You too. But first we need some scrolls. 
Um, inside the venue is a locked basement door to the testing hall. Perhaps the store owner himself will sell me a key inside. Yes. Um, what can I do for you? Yeah, did you have a key? Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something um, to suit you. Yeah, here we go. Wowie amulet. That's pretty good. This testing hall key. So that's what we need. It's half a million gold. Um, so we're going to do some duplication glitching today, and I'll show you how to do that. We need some uh, scrolls for that, though. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Then we can get into the testing hall. Well met. Go die. You too. Wait, what? <laughs> Uriel. Get your black horse courier here. I'm sure that was an accident. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. Okay, so we buy these scrolls, huh? Gods give me strength. Thanks, Uriel. You are the one from my dreams. Thanks, Uriel. I'm sure that was an accident. So in the tutorial, there are a bunch of scrolls that you can pick up as you go. But if you've done the tutorial skip, I thought, what the hell, did that guy just appear? <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to give you access to buy scrolls. That way you can, you know, glitch the game as quickly as possible so you can cheat like me. No, it's not cheating, okay? No cheating here, just a couple of glitches, wowie. All right, we now have 220 scrolls. We can duplicate these grand soul gems. Yes, wow, we no cheating here, <laughs> no cheating here. Wow, we, wow, we, we. Well met. Well met. Only quality goods for sale here. No. What can I interest? This is a in? this is a little bit of a laborious process. You don't expect me. I didn't want to I didn't want to edit this video you. too much, but I am going to edit this part down, of course. You can see the process though. We slowly move up in items towards rings, and then you know all of a sudden you've got. 685,000 gold, and we've made this store owner a very happy kitty. That, that, oh, and your mercantile skills probably gone up by 50 points as well, which is good because there are hidden items in the game which you need 50 mercantile for. You know that whole thing where we tell your friends about me. Oh, I will. I'll make a video about you. Don't you worry. Take care. Thanks. He's very memorable, very memorable character there. Very memorable name. Now let's put on his ring, uh, the Wowie amulet. Wow, that looks great. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look good? And the testing hall key, of course. I have acquired a key to the testing hall. I should now be able to take a look inside. Wow. We've done it. We've cheated horribly. <laughs> Do a little save. And then we're off into the testing hall. This is a dev cell thing. Oh, um, before we do that, let's go upstairs. Um, there's a little room up here, uh, Ree's respite, yes. Very hard lock. If you go to lock picking, you can just get in there immediately. But the key, of course, opens the door. Here we have Red. Gone, mortal. Hi, Red, how you doing? Be quick about it, mortal. Do you want to follow me? Okay. Red looks angry, but he's, you know, very loyal and he'll follow you. So you can come up here and uh, this guy will follow you. Um, there's a sword here, Bree's sword, some skooma, wowee. <laughs> An apple. Uh, shady business, Shady Sam, that's his manifesto, you can read that. Dark axe, dark war axe, uh, really good axe, really, uh, you can enchant that, do whatever you want, wowee. More skooma, wow. Look at this, we have a note here to guests. Dear guests, you're welcome to crash here as long as you like. Just be careful where you store your stuff. The kitty cupboard is yours, but all other containers are mine. If you want more storage space, get your own place. Very good. And we have a bed here, you can sleep here, but of course, you know, you should get your own place. Some skooma? Kitty cupboard. Very high leveled gear. I don't know why I've put that in immediately. That's like extremely overpowered gear. End game gear that you can get pretty much at the start of the game if you have a lockpick. Um, but yeah, whatever. Alright, Red. Um, we're gonna go into the testing hall. I'm gonna need your help. There's a boss we're gonna have to defeat when we go inside the testing hall. I'm gonna need your assistance, yes. The back rooms of Oblivion can be very dangerous, Red. Sugar and sands, friend. I just thought it would be cool to have a way to explore these dev cells without the hey, need you. for console commands. Yeah, you. Come here. Can you not I got what you sell need. my Dramora skooma, please, Shady Sam? Okay, here we go. I have entered the testing hall while we're red. Get in there. Here we go. Okay, this is the testing hall guardian. You probably need to be like level 20 plus, but I reckon we can take him. Come on, Red, you can do it. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't worry, we can do it. Trust me. Uh. I have died. 
I hope I can help. Me too. So around. even though we're very low leveled, our uh, Khajiit friend here will sell us very overpowered weapons, a bow or a sword. We're going to be getting the sword today. You will need um, 40,000 gold, but it's definitely worth the purchase. Not a huge amount of damage, but we're looking for that script effect, that supernova on strike, um, which is fantastic. Hey, you. And maybe we won't be a complete moron and save this time. How does that sound? Yeah. And let's see if we can do this. All right, get in there, Red. I need you to distract him while I spank him. Yes! <laughs> now you see why this sword is so OP. Um, it just, you know, sends people flying. And no one's immune to this, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless, like, they physically can't ragdoll. Um, their, like, mesh or whatever. Um, but that's like more of a Skyrim thing. You know, every, every, every NPC in Oblivion, I think, is ragdollable. 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 Yes, Red, you can do it! You versus the testing hall. Little, little assistance there. You can do it! Yes! I'm so proud. Oh, no, that was an accident. I'm sorry, Red. Forgive me. No! Alright, we're gonna need to get a new follower because Red hates us. Here we have Todd's test house. We could get Todd Howard as a follower, but I want to get someone else. Um, no, that's the Conjurer's Shack. We're looking for a little place. I think this is it. Yes, the Elder Council Chamberger. Yes. Okay, um... Few things you can do in here, but most importantly is you can summon Uriel and make him a follow-up. So if you click this dog statue, he'll come in here and sit on this chair. Um, he'll try to, at least. I'm sure that was an accident. Yeah, you've kind of failed at sitting down. I'm sure that was an accident. We have this note and this box here, this mythic box, which you need a key for. Um, if you read the note, it says, The Emperor will only sell you his clothes from the center, sort of the fast travel area of the waterfront. Send him back or have him follow you there to make the purchase. However, if you're up for a challenge, activate the statue of Akatosh to ascend. Recommended level 40 plus. So this is like a super boss that I've put in the game that'll give you super gear rewards. We're not going to be able to beat him, even though we're geared up. Ow. Even though we're geared up, we're just way too low level. So there's sort of no point doing this now. Are you sure you're ready? Maybe not. Maybe not right now. But we'll come back. We'll get um, some gear. We'll get some stuff and we'll see if we can do that later, maybe. But for now, click this dog statue and now we've got a Patrick Stewart follower. Wowee. I'm sure that was an accident. So the testing hall has dev cells that you can explore. But I've added a few. Along with the chain burger is the Conjurer's Shack. Yes, you can send the Conjurer here when he gets annoying, Uriel. But you can also do some cool things here. A few great things that I wish I had access to. Spellmaking, enchanting, yes. But here is this altar of revision. You can edit your race, birth sign or class after the opening. How amazing. We don't want to change perfection. What are we doing? We can force the Conjurer here. We can finally be rid of him. You know, after you buy all the spells from him, he can get a little bit annoying, Uriel, yes. Good day. Good day. May I interest you? Yes. So all the major spells from my Oblivion series are either purchasable from the Conjurer, Calendar at the Mystic Emporium, or Earl, 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 Shivering Isles, just in case the Conjurer dies or something. A pleasure to serve you. Thank you. Um, I've buffed... Bye. Bye. I've buffed a lot of endgame spells too, including spell tomes, scrolls. With spellmaking and enchanting, I've added this optional feature for extended max sliders. The system is pretty much unaffected. You just now have the choice to make more extreme spells if you want. The installs also optional being an XML file. I think that's important with my mod. I want you to have freedom. I want you to have choice. Um, hopefully my mod reflects that. Yeah. Um, here we have some enchanting supplies. Uh, sigil stones towards the end of buff. The transcendent ones are, are quite OP. Give me gold. Grand soul gems and greater soul gems are buffed. I'll quickly show you um, how the effects are kind of doubled. Um, for attributes and such and things and such as, wowee. Um, yeah, like, the experience is gonna be pretty much the same from level 1 to 20. Like, all these things that I've added are a way to extend endgame. 
Um, they make the game more replayable. Um, they make end game um, actually possible um, on max difficulty, but there's still some really hard bosses. Manamarco's tougher. I don't want to give too much away, but he's actually a real boss now, and I changed his appearance just slightly to make him look a little frightening. You know, little things like that. You'll have to play it yourself to find out. So, this explains the Chondra spawning system. I'm not going to read all this, but the Chondra respawns after death. So this room's really the only way to be rid of him. Where are we? By the way, have you been to Hawkhaven Chapel yet? I hear it's heavenly. Oh my god, no I have not. Uriel, there's so many dev cells to explore. We just don't have time today. But you guys can check them out for yourself with my mod. Yes, we can go back to Tamriel the way we came in. But before we do that, we're going to visit Hawkhaven, which is the testing world. Yes, where I've added my final blessing to this mod. Oh. Yes? Um, any rumors? Fighting's easy. Just lead them out on the water and shoot them full of holes. Oh, thank you. I'm sure this that... <laughs> <sighs> well, uh... <laughs> okay. Um, while this madness is happening, it's probably a good idea to quickly warn you about some of these dev cells. Um, some of them are very fun, like Todd's Test House and, you know, this madness. Um, Todd Howard Follower and Todd's Test House, wowee. But then there's, you know, cells like Tester Bruma Mid, which give you sigil stones infinitely um, and then crash your game. And, you know, <laughs> it's probably, probably a good idea to beat Oblivion before you explore the testing hole. Probably a, um, a good idea to save as well before you explore everything. Yeah. I'm sure that was an accident. All right, let's get into the Hawkhaven Chapel with our testing hall key. Wowee, very hard lock, so you can break in if you can somehow get there. Oh, look at that, it's a ladder to heaven. Wow, it's death. And look who it is. It's my pleasure. Please continue. <laughs> I thought about voicing him, but you know. I'm willing to teach if you're willing to learn. I had to listen to my own voice as uh, a cat and it just like, it was a bit weird, but maybe, you know, in a future update, um, we can make him fully voiced. But for now, he's just regular Khajiit guy um, so that I can bear him as a follower. Here we have Wilberger's blessing. You can spawn the adoring fan. By Azur, wow. Yes. Golly. Golly. The gang's all here. We are missing someone though. If we, oop, we come over here, we can spawn Sean Bean. Sean? Ah! Sean. You okay? Unless you need something, let's continue on to Wayne on Priory. No, no. We're taking the ladder to heaven. To Wayne and Priory then? No, 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 no. And that's about it. There's a couple more things I'll show you today. A couple more surprises. Over here we have a treasury with some items that I've put in the game. Um, potions and such. These ingredients are great. Custom ingredients. Combine them for great effects. A million gold. You may need that. Wowee, yes, look at this. Look at this. Thank you so much for playing. Entertaining people with my videos and mods has been a privilege, and I am eternally grateful for your support. Love, love William. Yes, why did I say has been? That was a little bit dark. <laughs> it's a little bit like the last thing I would ever write, which I did not intend. I may change the wording on that, yes. And we have ascended. You enjoy floating in space, there's this boy? Yes! Oh, great and mighty grand champion! Is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Um, can you give me some skooma, please? Using drugs is fun! <laughs> okay, um, some of you might be wondering, where's Master Chief? Where's Gilbert Gottfried? Yeah. I don't know if that's allowed in a mod release, I don't really know the ethics, um, but maybe in a future update. If it's ethical. ACAT is very concerned with the ethics, of course. They'll definitely be back for upcoming videos though, don't worry. Something I want to talk about 
is the live streams. You may have noticed I've been doing a lot of live streams lately. I wanted to say a big thanks to the people who've been watching those. You guys have been super generous with donations, like extremely generous. So there's definitely gonna be more live streams. And this really helps me like work on stuff in the background, stuff like a Kenshi sequel. Um, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. We're gonna do a big Christmas live stream, the 22nd of December. Um, I may even do face cam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in lighting. I'm trying to get that set up. It's been years since I've done face cam. So I may look a little bit different. I've just celebrated my 96th birthday. Uh, my hair's gone from white to non-existent. I look like I chose poorly. Yeah. So come say hey, we'll have some fun. Yes. Give me skooma. Using is fun. Okay, I'm gonna have to censor that. I don't know how many times we can get away with that SS boy. You know, I hope this mod allows people to revisit Oblivion. Um, this is an amazing game. We have a lot of fun here. We do a lot of glitches, but I really do think um, Oblivion has a beautiful soul to it, right? Um, I love this game. I really do. It's a lot of fun. Unlike Starfield. Yes! Give me scum. It's fun. Give me scum. Am I insane? Am I nuts? Am I crazy? No, no, no. A very sane person would play Oblivion for 20 years. I need a new game. Help me! No, this game's the best. We'll play it forever. But, you know, maybe we what should... It, citizen? Maybe we can play some new games as well. Um, I just love modding games, eh, Cat? I love... <laughs> I love changing things. I like adding deranged little elements to my games. You know? I'm sure that was an accident. I like creating a story. This is only the beginning. Worse is yet to come. Why aren't you selling anything? Boom! We've encountered a bug. My my mod isn't perfect, hey cat. It's my pleasure. I should have voiced you. <laughs> Why didn't I voice you? A DLC. Go ahead. An update. I'm sure that was an accident. Real? <laughs> I'm sure that yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm ready. Okay, let's buy this Emperor robe. We'll haggle him a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gods give me strength. Woo! Gods give me strength. You are the one from my dreams. Thank you, Uriel. Fantastic. I'm sure that was an accident. No, it wasn't accidental. I made it so that when you buy his clothes, he becomes naked. Let's put this on. We need a necklace. The Wowie amulet, Wowie. Oh yes. Okay. We're finally ready to 75 <laughs> reflect damage, reflect spell. Good. We're finally ready to do that big battle that I alluded to at the start. Um, we'll do that. And then maybe we'll go to the Shivering Isles. There's something I want to show you there. Um, I've added a couple of little things. So yeah, we'll go fight this super duper boss. Speak. Greetings, Kajit. Greetings. And then we're off to the Shivering Isles. What do you think about that? Should we leave all these companions behind? I think so. I think that's a good idea. You know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, yes. Speak. Where's SS Boy? What is he doing? So this is still gonna be hard. We are only level one. Um, you know, even though we're kitted out, thanks Uriel for the clothing. Um, you know, we're now the Emperor of Tism. Um, yeah. We're not gonna use Sunstrike Sword, be a bit of an anti-climax, okay? We don't want the knockback. Yeah, that's cheating, it's cheating. It's cheating, <laughs> we don't cheat. No cheating here. Just Lil Re. That's all we need. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to ruin the tension. I, did anyone get jump scared at home? By my demonic screeching? <laughs> sorry. I'll shut up, sorry. Sorry. Fall. told you it was hard. I told you it'd be tough. We can do it. We didn't even use Kitty Reflect. Gives us that 50% Reflect spell and damage. Combined with our gear, that's going to bring us up to 125%, okay? We're going to be invincible. So, we, we can do this, I'm sure. We can do this. Fall. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, okay. And now we just chip away, you know? We just slowly chip away. I think he has 100% resist magic, which is going to make things a little challenging, but luckily we can, we can just wail away with Lil Ree here. And we'll just take our time, you know? We got to make sure we keep up that kitty reflect. Yes, look at this. We got this. Rear, rear. He's gone. Not a problem. Rear, rear. <laughs> This isn't even worth it. You don't even get anything. Or do you? Huh? Or do ya? Here we go. Look at this! He's done. Goodbye. What was his backstory, you ask? I don't know. Yay! He's gone! We beat- uh, we beat him. I don't know. He's probably a good guy. Mythic key added. Wowee. Now we do need to fall down. Um, if you fall down there, you'll take fall damage and die because this is oblivion. Um, so there's these scroll of falling. Wowee. You know, like the boots of Spring Hill Jack. So just use one of these. Um, and we should be able to survive the fall. Wow. Uh, ah! I'm sure that was an accident. It actually was. You're real? Okay. Um, alright, so with the mythic key we can now open this box, but I'm gonna let you guys discover that by playing my mod yourself. For now, we're gonna leave Tamriel behind, Uriel, and we're gonna go to the Shivering Isles. Then go. May your heart be your guide, and the gods grant you strength. Well, guys, there's so much more I could show you today. So many little details. Lots of endgame items I've enhanced, some quests I've changed. But today, we're going to finish up with a little look at the Shivering Isles. As I said, my mod requires Shivering Isles and Spell Tomes to work, so I want to make sure that they're utilized. I actually love the Shivering Isles. I think it's one of the best DLCs ever made. So what I did add, I was very selective about. Like this Skooma Attic with great gear, ech, ech, and three bottles of Skooma you can get at level one where we. Uh, no, the main things I've added are found on the mainland, once we get through the gates of madness. Let's just clean up the streets here. Dead Skooma Attics everywhere. What is this, San Fran? Burn them all. There we go. Um, yeah, what I've added, what I've added makes the Shivering Isles a more complete experience. You know, the quests and the setting are, are great. Um, but there's a couple of key elements missing gameplay-wise that I've added in my mod that I'll show you today. And I like to leave, I like to leave most of my gear at home, you know, do a fresh start with the Shivering Isles, yes! And I recommend doing this at level 30, um, because of those endgame quest rewards that I've buffed massively. Oh my god, it's a Gromite! Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can ascend, see if we can uh, get the hell out of here. Skip the gates of madness entirely and just go to the mainland. And we've ascended a little too much. God, isn't Shivering Isles beautiful though? Wow. <laughs> okay, we may have to do a little bit of editing in this unedited episode. Otherwise, we're going to be up here for 10 hours. Uh... This is your artist speaking. Thank you for choosing to fly with Khajiit Space Mission. We appreciate your choice in uh, Space Mission. And it appears you made the wrong one. Whoa! Uh! Morning. <laughs> I love Mania. I love this town. Developers de Speak, citizen. Hello. Hi, amiable Fanrian. Alright, um... So, I've made a couple of changes. Rendell Dura-Rara's house. Dura-Rara, we'll check that out. But I'm looking for a very special sweet roll lover. Where is he? This is normally his spot. What's going on? Has the game broken? Where is he? Greetings. No. Speak quickly, Morgan. There you are. Vimian hungry. Yes. Want sweet roll. Vimian loves sweet roll. Follow me, Vimian. Yes? But first sweet roll for Fimian. Sweet roll. I don't know if we have one. I don't have a sweet roll for you. No sweet roll for Fimian? Hmm. Oh, he didn't like that. 
Well, that's okay. Um, so I've added Femi in as a follower, but you do need to feed him sweet rolls. And that's where Randall dra ra 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 comes in. Yes. Greetings. Greetings. Randall Drarara, chef extraordinaire at your service. You haven't truly eaten a decent meal until you've had my strawberry harava, green moat, lime surprise, and spiderling under glass. I don't know if they sound horrible or amazing. Um, you're, you're a chef. That's right. You're welcome to come over and taste my sweet roll whenever you like. Oh. Rendil Drarara. Chef extraordinaire at your service. So Rendell has a lot of stuff. This fine aged cheese, the grandma gumbo pie. We actually might buy that. That's that's really good. Um, it is a, quite expensive, mm. but we'll just get one. Is that fresh bread I smell? Okay, and here's the sweet rolls. Now we need a lot of these. Um, we need to feed Femi in these in order for him to follow. Mm. Yes, that'll do. See you later. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you will. Um, so a follower in Shivering Isles is what I've added with Fimian, which is very handy. But another thing that's not in Shivering Isles is a place to stay. Rendell Gerrara's house is open to the public. Whatever that, um, implies, who knows? He's just a very nice guy. He's a very nice guy, okay? It's not weird. And we can get sweet rolls here for free, so I probably didn't need to spend any money. You can't sleep in his bed, um, or take his stuff. That, that is theft. But there's a few things here. Master Mortar and Pestle, very generous, you know? So this is sort of your hub in the Shivering Isles. You have a storage box with a few things, mix those together, see what happens with your Master Mortar and Pestle. See what happens. Um, yeah, really, really powerful, especially if you're high level alchemy. And we'll just leave a bottle of Skooma in there for later. You know, when me and Rendell get up to all sorts of nonsense. Nothing weird, okay? Just two guys hanging out. Um, he's my roommate now. And look, we can sleep in this guest bed here. How good. We haven't slept in 50 days, so we're just gonna get 14 hours of sleep, which is literally how much I had last night. Because I also hadn't slept in 50 days. Okay. Why, hello, handsome. Don't say that, Rendell. People are gonna get the wrong idea, okay? We're just friends. Why, hello, handsome. Stop saying that! Fimian hungry. Hey, Fimian, guess what? Fimian hungry. Wants sweet roll. Fimian loves sweet roll. Well, Fimian, follow me. Yes, but first sweet roll for Fimian. Sweet roll. Here, take this sweet roll. Sweet roll. What the? Who the hell's this guy? Hadel. Greetings. What are you waiting for? Download and install Will Burger's mod right now. What the hell is happening? <laughs> You know what, Will Burger, you're all right. You're all right. Kid. You're all right, kid. This is sick. I was the kid. I was writing games when I was, you know, 12, whatever. And uh, the other kids in the block would say, you know, I'm going to play quarterback for the Cowboys. And I'd be like, I'm going to make video games and everyone's going to play them. Like, you dork. Go back to the chess club. Who's laughing now? <laughs> yes, I was in the chess club. <laughs>